Hey there, folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some eye-opening information that's absolutely crucial for your health. We're talking about the six practices that slowly, but surely, kill your lungs. You won't believe how common some of these habits are, so stay tuned. Let's start with the obvious one, smoking. This tiny stick of poison contains over 7,000 chemicals, and more than 250 of them are known to be harmful. Smoking not only harms your lungs but can also lead to cancer, heart disease, and a bunch of other nasty stuff. Do you really want to trade your health for this? Now, here's something that affects us all. Air pollution. We can't control the air we breathe outside, but we can take steps to minimize exposure. High levels of pollutants can lead to respiratory problems and damage your lungs over time. So, maybe invest in an air purifier or plan a getaway to clean the air every once in a while. Your diet matters more than you might think. A diet high in processed foods and saturated fats can increase your risk of lung diseases. Opt for fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins to keep those lungs healthy and happy. Staying active isn't just about looking good. It's about feeling good too. Regular exercise helps maintain lung function and keeps them strong. So, get up, get moving, and give your lungs the workout they deserve. Allergies can be more than just a seasonal nuisance. Ignoring them can lead to chronic sinus issues and asthma, which can wreak havoc on your lungs. Consult an allergist if you suspect allergies are affecting your breathing. Finally, let's talk about stress. Chronic stress can lead to shallow breathing, which deprives your lungs of the oxygen they need. Take time for relaxation, deep breathing exercises, or even meditation to keep your stress levels in check. So, there you have it, folks. The six practices that can slowly kill your lungs. But here's the good news, it's never too late to make positive changes in your life. Quit smoking, eat better, stay active, and take care of your mental health. Your lungs will thank you, and so will your overall well-being. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe for more health tips. And remember, your lungs are your lifeline, so treat them with the care and love they deserve. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.